Here we have a triangle ABC. We know one side of this triangle, side BC, equals to 2. There are also two side by sectors, BE and CD, which intersect each other at 90 degrees. And we are asked to find AB squared plus AC squared. Now, when we look at this problem, first thing that comes to my mind is to connect point D and E. Since D and E are midpoints of two sides of the triangle, DE is a midline of the triangle, and we know the property of midline, that it is parallel to the side BC and also equal to the half of it, so DE should be equal to 1. The other thing we know is the property of the side bisectors, also known as medians. By median theorem, we know that when medians intersect, and here they intersect at point F, their split is the ratio 2 to 1, which means that BF will be twice as long as EF, and CF will be twice as long as DF. So now what we're going to do, let's call BD as C. Also, let's call EC as D. Now we're going to call EF as P and DF as Q. We know that BF should be twice as long as EF, so BF will be 2P. CF will be 2Q. And now what we have here, we got four right triangles right here. And let's consider three of those four. First of all, let's look at this blue one. This is a right triangle, so we can apply Pythagorean theorem here. So P squared plus Q squared should be equal to 1. Next, we consider this green triangle and again apply Pythagorean theorem here. So we get Q squared plus 2P squared equals to C squared. Now let's look at the red triangle and apply Pythagorean theorem there. So we get p squared plus 2q squared equals d squared. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at these two last equations. And what we're going to do, we're going to add them up. We're going to add them up, open the parentheses here, and what we're going to get is on the left-hand side, we get 5 times p squared plus q squared. On the right, we're going to c squared plus d squared. We know that p squared plus q squared equals to 1, and that means the c squared plus d squared equals to 5. Now we need to remember that we are looking for ab squared plus ac squared. We know that ab will be 2c and ac will be 2d. And if we use that knowledge, we quickly find that ab squared plus ac squared equals to 20.